I could see just this enormous cloud of black and bright white steam and ash. At that point, there was definitely a, a shift of, I guess, shock and horror. Go, 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 go. Jesus. I remember that sinking feeling when I realized there were people probably on the island and that there were you know, probably really tragic consequences. Holy crap. When New Zealand's White Island volcano erupted on December 9 last year, there were 47 people trapped in the crater. Look, look the boat. Oh, no. Horrified sightseers were the first on the scene. So people was quiet, very quiet. Some people was screaming, some people was crying. There was no second guessing, no hesitation. We kind of got to the victims and started helping them, putting on gas masks, giving them water, putting them in recovery position, making them as comfortable as we can, just reassuring them that we are there, we are there to help, and we are going to get you off the island, and, and you're not alone. We investigate how much tourists were told and understood about the dangers of visiting New Zealand's most active volcano. And we examine whether more could have been done to prevent this tragedy that's left 21 people dead and many others with lifelong traumatic injuries.